On Tuesday, Lee Diaz gave his father a sobbing hug, marking their first reunion since his 12-day abduction in Colombia. The Liverpool attacker, who took a plane back to his native country before the November international break, landed in Barranquilla on Tuesday morning to be reunited with his emotional family and father, Luis Main Diaz. On October 28, four armed men riding motorbikes kidnapped DSSR and his wife Salinas Marolanda, who was set free soon after the kidnapping. They took them from the Colombian streets at gunpoint. The football player's father was kidnapped by armed members of the left-wing guerrilla group Per Chito de Liberation Nacional, ELN, and held captive for nearly two weeks until being released last Thursday. Shortly after the images were circulated on social media, Liverpool tweeted their support for their star player, who missed matches against Bonmouth and Nottingham Forest before making a comeback to score an important equaliser against Luton on November 5. The tweet featured a hard image. Reunited with friends and family, Diaz Jr. can be seen sobbing, embracing his father in the photos released by the Colombian Football Federation. The first images of the attackers have surfaced since Colombian police announced last week that they had taken four members of the criminal group Los Primos, the Kizans, into custody. Andres Alcides Bolivar Bolivar, Marlon Rafael Brito Bolivar, Bray and Javier Morales San Juan, and Erdinson Bolivar Bolivar were the names of the guys that were arrested according to municipal records. Rio Hacha, in northern Colombia, is the location of their upcoming court appearance. They are charged with theft and kidnapping. As he opened up about the terrifying experience last week, DSSR said that he had spoken with his son soon after his release. Due to any injury, he required medical aid during the press conference. It was reported that his kidnappers made him walk for a week straight out of fear of being discovered. I beg of my mountain brothers, let us lay down our weapons, pick up a pen and notebook, and let us strive to ensure that Colombia is the nation with the best peace, he sobbed. I appreciate Colombia's wonderful support. I will get the chance to welcome them and give them a hug very soon. I sincerely appreciate it, my folks. Using social media, Diaz Jr., who stayed in Liverpool during his father's kidnapping, urged people to participate in a march demanding his father's safe return. His father's image was shared on Instagram with the phrase, Free him now, shortly after his mother was freed. The post encouraged the whole community to bring your candle to light the light of Hulk. The next day, hundreds of people joined his mother and grandfather Alfonso in Barranca's streets to demand an end to the kidnapping. However, DSSR was held captive for 10 more days before being freed on November 9. The first pictures of DSSR were shown on Colombian television after he was placed under the care of a humanitarian come-in. The father was seen waving his arm in the air while sporting a cap and a ring. In a statement, the Colombia Football Federation expressed gratitude to the national government, military forces, national police, and all other individuals and institutions who helped to make Luis Manuel Diaz, the father of footballer Luis Diaz, free. As a sport, football represents skill, commitment, cooperation, and the basic qualities of people. It must remain the gold standard for joy, unity, good competition, and entertainment in Colombia. We therefore insist that this activity be kept going, along with the participants, both administratively and athletically, and their families, in any context other than sports. Diaz Jr. will play for Colombia in their match against Brazil on Friday. The following week, in November, they will play Paraguay.